So hi guys, uh, today we're going to go over uh, how do you get a Photoshop character into Character Animator for rigging. Uh, we've done this uh, several times, but I just want to go over it one last time uh, very quickly. As you can see, we have a Photoshop file with a head and body uh, set of folders uh, called Zella. And if you look in the body, uh, we have a plus left leg, plus right leg. Uh, in the arms folder, we have a set of hands, uh, two different types of hands, so you can see uh, this hand or this hand will will be in the actual along with an umbrella those kinds of things um, so we've got the character rigged up we checked it and we're ready to uh, bring it into character animator for rigging so let's move over to character animator uh, and the way we start is just by double clicking the project area after you've started a new project find your Photoshop file bring it in uh, and just bring it into the area here uh, just by double clicking uh, the puppet so let's just go ahead and do that oops double click that side uh, that'll bring it into the rig mode uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, take a look at our puppet uh, we're starting with the head uh, as you can kind of see right here uh, it's got some ish it's got some things already set up because we named everything correctly notice if I select the head you see the head here you select the left left eyebrow left eyebrow right eyebrow is on the right eyebrow and you can see I'm looking at our tags area to make sure that each tag is correctly labeled uh, mouth is selecting mouth nose is not selected because it's not an independent layer so it won't show up uh, but you can go ahead and tag it as the nose here if you want uh, hair top uh, that's where the hair is the hair on the left and the hair on the right uh, and then the face background and the back of the hair so these are just how I have the puppet set up I'm going to check my body at this point and you can see there's nothing outside of the yellow area which is a good sign I have my right arm my left arm uh, you can kind of see the umbrella that's in the right hand there which will be a swap set the body left leg and the right leg okay let's get started with the uh, puppet itself so I'm going to close everything up and you can see there's the Zella puppet I'm going to go back way up here, and it's called Alice Final. Um, that's because that's what I named the Photoshop document. Uh, and I'm going to select that, and you notice it has eight different properties. You can see them right here. And what we're going to do are eight different behaviors. And what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, three more behaviors. You can do that here with the plus button, or you can do it over here in the behaviors area with the plus button. Uh, the three behaviors we're going to add are two draggers. So we're going to add a dragger. And you notice it made a new dragger called dragger 2, right? And then we'll add that one more time. So we have three draggers all together. So we have dragger, dragger 2, dragger 3. We're going to add eye blink, auto blink. Uh, this will allow the character to blink, on, blink automatically so you don't have to worry about blinking when you're performing. And finally, limb IK. So those are the behaviors that were the four additional behaviors that we're adding. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and change the names of these draggers. The little um, bars here, if you click on them, you can say rename behavior. And the first one we're going to rename to dragger body. And we'll talk about this during the performance. The second one we're going to rename to dragger right, right arm. And the last one we're going to rename to dragger left arm or L arm make it easy for me to see it these draggers will allow us to drag a specific part of the body uh, when we're performing so that we have three possibilities three performance possibilities all right let's go ahead and get Zella set up we're gonna open her up here and start with the head uh, and you'll notice that uh, we have if we zoom in uh, the head uh, um, uh, label here and I'm going to put this down by the neck and I'm going to go ahead and label this with the neck as well so now it's head and neck and I'm also going to make this a draggable but just by clicking here so we have draggable head neck this is where we're going to drag the entire body around with uh, and we're going to use the head as the anchor we're looking at our left eyebrow making sure that everything is correct I'm just moving uh, that little eye eyebrow thing a little higher so that it's a little it's at the higher area we're going to open up our right eye and we're going to make sure our blink for our right blink is selected and it is the pupil we want to make sure that that little yellow outline is correct and that is correct and then finally the right eyeball and that looks good because that's where our um, 
pupil will actually reside. So that looks good. Left eye, let's open that up. Make sure the blink is correct. Yep, the blink is correct. Uh, and everything else looks good. Now the mouth, we want to check to make sure all the shapes are actually going to align. So we'll just go down with the smile. That should be smile, surprised, should be surprised. And you'll notice way at the bottom, W-O-O. -O. Notice how it doesn't have W-O-O uh, -O here. It has W-O-O. -O. So this was a spelling mistake. One way to fix it, you can just um, like double click it or select W-H-O -O while it's selected. I'll just go ahead and click that and now that is mapped to that phoneme so if you did make a spelling mistake like that you can actually just uh, fix it we'll just go back through U S R Ch M everything is uh, everything else is working out well we're getting a specific phoneme for every one of our mouth shapes so we start there otherwise you've wasted a drawing right we've got the nose we've already set the nose you know right here uh, the hair top. Now let's go ahead and uh, set these up. Now this is our, it's an independent layer, so we have to actually set where this is attaching from or moving from. So we're just going to put this little anchor point here. Uh, so this top of the head will actually be uh, pinned right here. Now the hair right, we're going to actually have that move. So I'm going to first off pin it here. This is where it'll be stable. Uh, but I'm going to put something at the bottom here called the dangle. So down here, if you click on this little dangle thing, you can actually just click and that creates a dangly thing so that it'll be stuck here. This will be fixed and we want to make sure that's fixed by selecting it. I'm going to go back to my selection tool here and we're going to call this a fixed air, um, point. That means it doesn't move. And then finally the, the dangle we want to actually make right here and that actually dangles so we're going to do the same thing with the left hair we're going to move the anchor point up here we're going to make that a fixed object right and then we're going to add a new dangle uh, at the bottom here just by clicking so that'll be fixed here and then it'll be moving here uh, the face background looks good and then the hair background looks good too so we're going to close up our head and start with our body at this point. So let's start with um, just the uh, right arm. So we're going to select our right arm and you'll notice it because it's independent with a crown has a plus uh, we have to set our anchor point and so we're going to set that at where it overlaps the body and that's where we're going to set the anchor point right here. Uh, and then I'm going to add two tags. I'm going to click on our little tag area down here and right here I'm going to uh, label that as uh, our, our right wrist and then here I'm going to make that an elbow right elbow I'm not going to label this as the right shoulder because we want to do that in the body area so the uh, right arm is good now I'm going to add some sticks bones right and I'm going to make sure not to touch the dots I'm going to add a bone here and a bone here so you can see there'll be four objects on the right arm we're going to do the same thing with the left arm so I'm using the space bar to move this over. And again, we're going to start by taking this object here, this anchor point, and lining it up with the body right here where it's going to overlap. We're going to add two new tags, the elbow, and we're going to tag that, and the wrist, and we're going to tag that. And you notice that it aligns here. And then we'll add two more sticks uh, to give us some bones. All right, so the arms are finished. Let's jump down to the legs and do the exact same thing. Uh, starting with the left leg, we're going to move our um, rotational area here. That's where the leg will originate or rotate from. If it rotates, we're going to select our tool. And we're going to make our knee, and then we're going to label that as knee. And we're going to make our ankle. We're going to label that as ankle, heel. We're going to label that as heel and we're going to add a draggable. And then finally toe, Let's see if I can get in there, toe, and then we're going to label that as toe. So we've got toe, draggable, left heel, left ankle, and left knee. You can see there's four things here. Let's add two bones, uh, one here and one here. If you want to add a bone between the toe and the um, um, draggable uh, left heel you could do that I'm not going to do that for now uh, the right side we're doing the same exact thing uh, 
I make the anchor point there. I select uh, tag here and I make the knee about where the other one was, label it. Make the ankle where the other one was, label it. Uh, the heel where the other one was, label it and make it draggable just in case I want to lift the foot. Oops, I just made something else here. Use the space bar and then finally uh, the toe and then just make that the toe. So everything is correct. And now we add two more sticks. We can tell it's correct uh, just by looking at the number of um, uh, objects that each of these groups have. It has six, it has six, so we're good to go. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and zoom out here and so you guys can see what we're doing. Um, now we're going to go to the body group, and this is where we want to add the last tags that we haven't added yet. You notice the little green dots from the left and the right arm. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add new uh, anchor or new um, labels, and we're going to go right over the green dot and click here because we're in the body group. And I'm now going to select the right shoulder, and on this side, I'm going to select uh, the left shoulder, and here I'm going to select the right or left hip, and then here I'm going to select the right hip. <clears throat> and then finally, I'm going to use my move tool here, so it's a selection tool. And I'm going to zoom in, and the body also has, oops, the body also has uh, its, its own little um, uh, tag here. And I'm going to put the body tag right about where the waist will be, and then I'm going to label it as a waist. So it had a tag, I just moved the tag right here to the waist, that's where the anchor point for the body will be, and then I labeled it as waist. So at this point, the body group has four tags altogether. Let's take a look. There we go. <coughs> Um, one last thing we forgot to do, uh, we want to be able to move the wrist, right? So we have to go back into the arm, select our right wrist, and make that draggable. And now we have a draggable right wrist, and we're going to do the same for the, the left wrist as well. So again, I select the left wrist, uh, go down here and make it draggable as well. So now we have a draggable, uh, oops, don't want to drag it off the, the character. So I'm just holding the space bar key down. There we go. Uh, at this point, we should have a fully articulating character uh, with hair that moves. Uh, now, our hands will want to have them uh, swap, right? So we're going to look at our right arm, and then I'm going to open up the folder that had the left and the right hand. I'm going to take that entire folder, and I'm going to move it into this triggers area, and I'm going to create a swap set just by holding and then letting go. And when I do that, it automatically creates this swap set for the hands. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see this. And then I'm going to move it over here. Now the, the right hand up and the right hand down, uh, one of them will be a default, right? And currently the down is on, so it's by default on. So it's going to be our default. And I'm going to go ahead and select latch. That means once I, you know, once it's on, it won't come off. I won't have to hold anything down. And then finally, uh, the other hand, and notice how I moved it up to the top, so I know default is at the top. The other hand is not going to be our default, so we have to press a button for it to become something. So I'm going to click in here and do the number one, and then I'm going to hit return. So when I hit the number one, I'm going to hit this latch button as well. The one will make that hand switch to this look up, right? And then when I, let, when I hit the one again, it'll go back to... Uh, the right hand down, the default hand, okay? So I don't need a number for default because that's just what's there when this is not on. We're going to do the same for the left arm. Uh, again, I'm going to go to the left hand group and I'm going to drag the entire group into this create swap set, but we're going to do something a little different here because I just want to show it to you. So here's our left arm group, and you'll notice that we have something like an umbrella as well as a hand holding the umbrella. So I want both of these things to turn on at the same time with a single number, like the number two. So currently we have our left hand open, which is what we have, and that's default. We know we want to latch that, right? Uh, and then the left hand closed, we're going to make that two, right? Uh, and we're going to make sure we latch that. But here's the problem. If I hit two, I also want the umbrella to go along with it. And the way you do that is you take this umbrella layer and you put it on top of the left hand closed layer. And that both those, you can kind of see at this down, down here, will actually 
play when you're pressed to number two, they'll actually uh, both turn on and you'll see an umbrella appear magically in the hand. All right, let's test what we've gotten because uh, that's pretty much it for the basic structure.